What is going on guys, it's Wava here, welcome back to Terraria, the bad news, bad heckin' news. I was recording some off-camera footage, well I, I don't know if you still call it off-camera, but I was recording some like background footage for my channel update a few days ago, and a heckin' notification came up at the tail end of the recording saying there's a, a blood moon or something like that, and there's a bunch of creatures out right now, and they're, they're attacking my heckin' base, I don't even know what that one is, Drippler? Hold on, was, is that what that said? I don't know if it was, I didn't see it too clearly. But there's a lot of heckin' creatures attacking my base right now. I remember you guys talking about the blood moon. Where even is it? Hold on. I don't even see it. Do I have to like zoom out or something like that to see the moon? I still don't even see it right there. I'm just swinging my sword. Oh wait, hold on. Oh yeah, I did get a comment from someone saying, yeah, the katana is like auto swing. You don't have to like spam. Achievement unlocked, bloodbath. Hey! I guess that's for surviving your first, uh, blood moon night or something like that. Jeez. Oh, there's still creatures. There's- yeah, there- Yep, Drippler. That's what it's called, Drippler. But yeah, I don't have to spam click to, uh, swing the sword constantly. I just have to hold it down and that's good enough, I guess, huh? Oh, man, there's a Drippler in the house! There's a- well, at least it's stuck. That's good. There you go, sliced and dice. Jeez. But yeah, that sucks I didn't get to catch the whole thing on camera. I was, I was, you know, doing some mundane stuff off camera, or on camera, whatever you want to call it. It was background footage from my channel update, where I, like, patched up all the dirt over here, or the big hole over here with dirt, so we could actually, you know, put all the graves here, and it's, like, nice and uh, flat. But unfortunately, whenever I die, I still, it, it like, carves out a hole right here, so I, that's why there's, like, a hole with a platform right there. And also, unfortunately, off camera, I died in the cave. So what I did is I went over here to the desert because I died like right over here and I just went over to the desert and I was like, you know what, that little bit right here is like right above where I died. So I just built like a, a straight hole down and I died like two or so more times over there. I don't know how many times I've died. <laughs> but I just wanted to go on like a mining adventure to come down here and grab my uh, wherever it's at. Oh, too much room right there, nice. But wherever I died like two episodes ago or last episode or something like that, there's apparently a death over here and I guess I didn't pick up my uh, grave site. I went back to go get it, couldn't find it, so I just, you know, further explored over here trying to get more minerals and resources and, oh, webs over there. Uh, other stuff off camera, you know, off camera, on camera, whatever you want to call it, background footage for a channel update. And then I ended up dying from like a, a giant heckin' death worm or something crazy, so that sucks. Uh, anyways, yeah, oh man, there's uh, a drippler in that thing over there, if that's... I think it's called Dribbler, but yeah, I, I ran out of rope over there, so I, I couldn't like make my way all the way back, unfortunately. Uh, hold on, there it is right there, there we go. So I had to magic mirror my way back home, but maybe we can make some more rope or, or buy some more rope from, I think Barney sells it or something like that, right? So that'd be really cool. Either way, so we get a rope, let's climb up this rope and definitely want to go. And I don't know if I'll continue exploring those caves over here. Basically, what I did was I just dug straight down and tried to ignore the actual caverns. And, of course, tried to light it up as much as possible. That way, I didn't spoil myself too much off-camera. And you guys didn't miss too much. But, uh, yeah, there were a bunch of, like, deserty type creatures on the ground. Like the... Uh, man, I forgot what the thing was called. But, like, the, the flying thing with the wings. And then the other... The, the one that's, like, in the ground. We, we, I saw those underground, so that, that's kind of cool that we saw them. They're not only above ground, which is kind of cool. Either way, let's talk to Barney. I kind of want to see if there's any... Yeah, he does sell rope. Ten copper for each rope? Yeah, that's nothing. I might... I don't know if I'd buy that. Oh, yeah, he has the mining helmet. I did want to get that. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll buy it. We have uh, six gold right now. We technically have 16, because remember, we have a gold bunny or something like that over here, right? Uh... Yeah, there's right there, gold bunny, so... I guess I'll grab that. Oh, yeah, here's another grave right here. So I guess I could put that up over here. And then, of course, you're in like a few. Oh, by the way, yeah, I've been getting comments saying, yeah, now you have those running boots. You can actually capture birds and stuff like that because you actually run fast enough to heck and capture them. But unfortunately, I can't jump high enough to capture them. So that sucks. <laughs> I have to wait until we get to like a, a hill or something like that, like here. Or, you know, I can get like bouncing boots or something. That'd be really. Oh, or wait until like. Oh, oh come on. No. Man, I wanted to demonstrate it, but I guess I can't. Whatever. I know you guys get the idea. We can, we can run a little bit faster with these boots whenever we do, like, the sprinting mode or whatever that does. And there was a bunny over here as well. I guess I'll capture him real quick. Oh, yeah, slimes and stuff, too. But, yeah, they're nothing. I definitely want to get some more armor, too, because I think that's one reason why I died off-camera slash on-camera, whatever it was, uh, is because my armor is kind of lacking. Oh, yeah, we have some rope right there. What in the world? I don't know where I got that, but we have a grave marker right here, so uh, let's place that right there. I don't know why this like, covered in moss and stuff. Oh yeah, I, I guess I don't tell you the, what, like how you died or whatever for that specific death, unfortunately, so that sucks. But yeah, I've, I've got to empty out my inventory of some trash, because I've got a bunch of resources in my inventory. Oh yeah, by the way, 
I'm gonna get common saying, hey, get to silver and turn it into ingots. And then you can make some really good silver, because apparently silver is a step above iron. I think it's below gold, though, so uh, that'd be really good if we could actually get some really good silver armor. I don't know if we have any silver still just left over here. Uh, oh, yeah, we have some silver right there, silver bars. But I don't think we have any more silver ingots just laying around. I don't think so, yeah. Let's go over here to our forge now, or whatever this thing's called, and uh, see if we can actually turn those into bars. Yes, we can, so there we go. And it's four ingots per bar, so now we're up to 15, so that's good. See if we can make any armor out of that. Oh, we can make... So we can make a silver broadsword. Oh, what is that? Oh, by the way, I don't know what it was from. Oh, yeah, I think there was a slime underground. I killed it. And it gave me, like, tungsten, which is crazy. Is that it right there? No, that's silver. That's iron. Where's the tungsten at? Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, we got, like, 12. And then, I, oh, yeah, and then I killed another thing that was called, like, a granite something. It was floating. Maybe you guys know what it was. But it dropped these granite blocks, which is really cool. So those are some other things that happened off camera that you guys missed out on, unfortunately. Uh, I'll try to make sure I don't do that too much more in the future, because there's so many I can things going on in this game. It's crazy. But, yeah, I might as well uh, turn all the ingots into bars. Just because why not? I think we also have got some iron here. Let's turn those into bars. Nine more there. There you go. And we probably have some... Uh, oh, yeah, we have some... I, I got a little bit of copper just because why not? There's so much I can copper all over the place, so why not, right? So there you go. Uh, yeah, we can make copper helmet and some other stuff. I don't know why I'd want to do that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we might need wood. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough wood. Uh, oh, wait, no, not for armor, right? I don't know if we need that for armor, but uh, I guess I'll put some right there, just in case. But let's see what we could actually make out of, like, the silver and stuff. Yeah, we well, we have the iron sword, the axes, and, oh, yeah, the fishing pole and stuff. Remember, we have a, uh, a gold bow now, which is really good. We have chains. Yeah, I don't think we can make anything out of silver just yet. And, yeah, we can make, like, silver brick, but oh, other than uh, weapons, I was, I was meaning, like, armor-wise. I don't think we can make any armor just yet, because it seems like you need, like, 20-ish ingots until we can do... Ooh! El Eladon, the traveling merchant, has arrived. Definitely want to go see what he has, but let me try and put up all the relevant materials inside of the resources chest. Is that him? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, behind here, he it looks like he is. Oh, and I wonder if he'll buy the gold bunny for more money. It'll probably be the same amount of money, but uh, let me try and put up some of the resources over here real quick, and let's see what he has to offer, you guys. Man, I need to make more chests over here, you guys. I'm starting to run out of room, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, let's put some of those stuff up. Definitely want to go, what was it, three Fallen Stars to make, like, a mana upgrade or something like that. We haven't used mana yet, but definitely want to go, uh, craft those, just because why not? We're, we're starting to get a lot of those now. Or, you know, a significant amount. I bet people are being like, uh, ten Fallen Stars, that's nothing. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess we could, yeah, let's put up the wooden stuff up over here as well. Oh, yeah, there's no room, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to make more chests over here, you guys. And, and to do that, though, you need, what, iron and wood? Yeah, we could definitely do that, you guys. It makes sense for- Yeah, look at that, we have m more iron bars, like, right there. Let's do it. Let's make a few more, uh, chests, and- Oh, yeah, there's the minecart. And, yep, here we go, chests, and let's make- I think I might be able to fit four chests in there, you guys- Or four more chests over here, you guys. I guess I'll have to get rid of the home sweet home. Uh, I- I- I'm like, it makes sense towards the entrance of the area, but it doesn't really- Oh, nice, I could fit a chest there. I could fit a chest there, perfect! I think, uh- well, I can't place one there just yet. We don't have a, a platform, so place those. So we could actually place a chest. And I don't know if I could place one there because of the torch, but I guess we'll see here in just a moment. So let's get the chest. And yeah, I can't do that because of the, the torch. So I, I did get a helpful comment saying, hey, you could right click a torch to, to remove it. And uh, that way I'll have to constantly go back to the pickaxe and break it with a pickaxe. So that's very helpful. Thank you very much for letting me know about that. That saved me some time. <laughs> but yeah, and let's capture some creatures. Let's go see what this, whatever this guy's name was. See what he has to trade. And then of course we have bunnies and butterflies and all that stuff over here. People playing rock, paper, scissors. Let's see what this guy, Eladon. Let's see what he has to trade. Uh, hmm, looks like you could use an angel statue. They slice and dice and make everything nice. I wonder if he's actually selling one. Oh, we have a gi over here. Four defense, equivalent. 5% increased damage and critical strike chance, 10% increased melee and movement speed, 2 gold. Crimson Cloak. I don't know if I'd want that. Would that make me, like, blend in with the Crimson Creatures where they won't, like, attack me or something like that? Life Form Analyzer. Where's that thing he said he had? Extendo Grip. Increases tile reach. Ooh. 10 gold, though. Oh, yeah, let's sell the, uh, here we go, Gold Bunny. Yeah, I'll sell that. Now we have... Wait, what? 10 gold. I should have got some... Oh, it's in my inventory. Yeah, savings, that's a completely different thing, yeah. And then uh, portable cement... Yeah, we saw that earlier. And then pot tie. I don't know if I want that. Extendo grip? I don't know if we want that, though, you know? And 10 gold. That was a whole bunny to get that if I want that. 
I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think we're fine as is. I guess I'll sell him some bunnies and stuff over here, rabbit. Yeah, there you go. Or squirrel, I mean. I'm like, I just sold him some bunnies, so I guess I was right with the rabbit bit. <laughs> Also got some comments saying that, yeah, uh, jellyfish drop the glow sticks, you can't, like, craft them, unfortunately, so that sucks, but hey, we have some more glow sticks right there, which is great. And here's the detonator, apparently I was really, re oh, I can't sell them, unfortunately, I guess I'll use it as a decoration or something. <laughs> but yeah, I was really, really lucky that that wasn't, like, hooked up to anything, so that's awesome that, uh, you know, I didn't, like, detonate it and explode and kill myself earlier. Anyways, uh, now we have some more chests over here, might as well, uh, just store some more stuff over here. I don't know, I might make them a little bit more specific. In that, um, I'm probably going to make one chest specifically for, like, metals, like iron and gold and silver and stuff like that. And then another one for, like, blocks like this. So, I'll probably end up doing that off-camera or something like that, just because I don't want to do that too much on-camera. So, we've got those all put up, which is good. I definitely want to make some more armor. Uh, oh yeah, we had a pretty good amount of iron there. I, I guess I'll see if I can actually make some iron armor. We have 42. Uh, we have 25 copper. I don't think I want to get that. 15 silver, 16 gold. I think we was at like 25 or something like that to make the uh, the chest piece. So that sucks. And if I make an iron piece of armor, it makes sense to make a full set, you know. So should I just continue mining to try and get more gold to try and get a full set of gold, or, or should I just try and get some iron armor right now because I can afford it? You know, maybe get a few pieces of iron armor. That is. So let's actually see what we could actually get. So we can get a helmet right there for 20. Jeez. And then 30 for the chest piece, golly. And that's three, that's two, that's two. Right now we have one, two, and one with an extra one for the set bonus. So we're up a pretty good amount on that, so that's good. And then we have another thing down here that gives us some, yeah, four defense right there for the warding shackle, so that's cool. So this would go from two defense to three. I don't think it's that big of a jump you guys to justify it. I feel like it makes sense to maybe wait until we can afford it with gold, I'd say. Maybe. And it shouldn't be too hard because we've seen huge veins of gold down there in the caves. Maybe I'll just spend some time off camera or something like that to try and find some more gold. And uh, I guess I'll grab some of these like actual ingots and uh, put them in the other chest over there to make it a little bit more, more organized. Emerald and the ruby, I'll put those up over there as well. Granite block, silver ore, yeah, let's grab that. Gold ore, yeah. And I guess this, this chest over here will be for like blocks and stuff like that, you know. And then over here would be for... Uh, valuable, like, minerals and metals and stuff like that, so that, that seems pretty reasonable. Make it nice and easy to find that, you know. Let's put the, uh, the wooden stuff up over here now, so there you go. And, uh, oh yeah, another thing about this, like, thing that I built over here, it should make it a lot easier for us to go down into the heckin' depths, rather than, like, winding through all this stuff over here. So that's going to be great. I'm glad that I did that. Uh, oh my god, there's so many, it's like a heckin' Disney movie inside. Oh, another purple, man, that's, like, that's good money if I remember correctly. What was it, like, 15 or something like that? Silver? Or maybe it was like 40 silver or something like that. I, I remember it was decent money. But, uh, 75, yeah, pretty good. Nice, let's, let's sell that, let's sell this other butterfly. Just got, I don't, I don't care, honestly. <laughs> we have we have a pretty good amount of uh, other creatures inside of storage if we want to, you know, use them as bait. But I guess I'll sell them to get a little bit of money out of them. And I guess I'll put the money up inside of our piggy bank. So let's go do that real quick. And 12 gold, 62, blah, blah, blah. And, oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff over here too. Yeah, silver bars and stuff, silver, well, that's silver coins. Wait, oh yeah, the gold points. I was about to say, what? And how, how do I have so much I can stuff in here? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. But, uh, is there anything else here? It's like, oh yeah, and then we have the water chest, the gold chest. Forgot to, uh, I should have placed those down. I need to figure out, oh yeah, and then we have some silver ore right there too. Oh, we might actually be able to make a silver, like, chest piece or something like that right now, you guys. So we have some silver bars right there. Combine those together, we have 22 right there. We need about 30, it seems, to get a chest piece. Let's see if we can actually smelt that now. And... There's eight. We can, we, have, we have 30. Let's see. Can I make it? <gasps> four defense. So three for iron, four for silver. And it's got to be about five or something like that for gold, right? So if I make all this out of silver, and then there's the helmet, three defense, four defense, three defense, and I get an extra set bonus. And then, of course, we have the extra over there, too. And the, uh, the helmet's 20, and then what, what, are, what are the boots? 25. So to get a full set... I need to get about, what, 75 of whatever ingot I want to make it out of, so... Yeah, I don't think we can afford that just yet, you guys. Sheesh. I don't know if I can, actually, if I can come across an, a merchant that'll actually sell me any of these, like, ingots or anything like that, you know? Because I've, I've got decent money now, you know? Like, 16 gold or something crazy. Uh, at least, you know, there's early on in the series, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 we have a pretty good amount. I might as well start heckin' using it, right? And then we have a gold chest over here. I guess I'll put her up here. Uh... There you go. I almost store another one right there. <laughs> we have a gold chest. Oh, it's like sparkling and stuff. Do I really want to have that right there? It's kind of 
It's gonna stick it out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll put the uh, maybe I'll put the ingots over here. Actually, that makes more sense. It's like in a, a bright, shiny. Let me uh, hold on. Loot all. There you go. Put it over here. And it's right next to the forge too. If I want to use uh, any of these materials to craft or whatever, just grab them. I'm just going to call that a forge. I don't know if it's actually something else. <laughs> But yeah, let's sort items now. There you go. Those are all the same. That's good. They're all like the same background color right there. So that's awesome. Oh yeah, rope. What do we need to make rope again? Like, uh, what was it? I forget how you make a rope. I don't know. I'd have to figure it out some other time. <laughs> but either way, I don't know why all the NPCs are just hanging out up here for some strange reason. Oh, I wonder if Oten has anything new. No, he still has these same explosives there, so that sucks. Uh, does Kyle have anything new to say? You should stay indoors. Dangerous outside, yeah. If you had a gun, the arms dealer might show up if, and sell some ammo. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, defeating a strong monster. That would get the attention of a triad. I remember some comments talking about that a while ago. Teapot, be sure to smash it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the same things we've seen before. I kind of want to go now underground. Uh, let's actually grab our stars over here, wherever they are. Here we go. Uh, I guess I'll grab all but one. So that would be... There you go. Grab that. There you go. <laughs> and then I guess we'll make... Like three mana, like upgrades or whatever. Oh, Eladon has departed. Okay, well, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. I don't even know if we bought anything from him. <laughs> but if we go over here and I guess near the Crimson Altar, we should be able to craft, I think, some sort of mana upgrade. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mana crystals permanently increases the maximum mana by 20. I think we're able to make three. Yeah, and then you need three of those. Oh, it's ammo? What in the world? <laughs> That's kind of weird. But uh, Mana Crystals, we can actually make three of those, so boom, boom, boom. It's going to be 60 extra points for our uh, Mana Crystals. And by the way, I got a comment saying, hey, if you want to consume something, you don't have to put it in your hotbar and then select it and all that kind of stuff. You can just click outside your, like, inventory, and that, that consumes it. So, boom, and boom, star power uh, achievement right there, nice. And boom, now we've got, like, four stars. I've got 80 mana now. Cool. Awesome. Now I have to get used to all those stars are on the right side. <laughs> but that's cool, you guys. Now we have, uh, so, we still have the heck an explosive bunny I can make. <laughs> but yeah, now we can, oh, and I also got a comment saying, yeah, you should definitely make your grenades and, and dynamite and stuff like that. You should definitely make them sticky. So, uh, you can actually, like, go mining a little bit easier like that. I'll definitely consider that, you guys. But you know what? <laughs> should, yeah, let's go. Let's go mining. Do we have enough, we have torches. I don't think we need to worry about that. Oh, did we buy the... Oh yeah, that's from Barney. I was about to say, did that guy, he sold the, uh, mining hole, but no, that, that was Barney that sold that. How many do we have? I think we have, like, 16 or something like that, right? A scrawny kid, like, oh yeah, he talked about the Cthulhu, uh, yeah. Oh, we have 18! Yeah, we can definitely get the mining helmet, you guys. Want to get it? I kind of want to get it, and of course, he sells some rope, and I'd say it doesn't really matter if we buy some. Just because I don't know how to make it, or at least I don't remember how to make it. There we go, we just bought the mining helmet. It's going to be very, very helpful. Unfortunately, if we're wearing it, we're not going to get the extra, uh, like defense for a uh, set bonus and stuff, so that sucks. But let's get some rope. So we have 26 right now. Uh, I guess we'll get up to like 100 or something like that. There you go. And then we already have 26 right there, so we have 126. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that for a while, so. <laughs> Set up here, let's grab this fallen star. We need two more, one more of these. So we have one in storage, and uh, we'll be able to increase our mana yet again. So that's going to be crazy. But for right now, let's put that up. And uh, yo, dog, I heard you like chess, so I put chess in your chest. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then we have the sign right there. I guess I put a. Uh, I put it in Emily. Is this her name? I think it was Emily. Put her over here just because it's in the front. Uh, home. Oh, whoops. Oh, what in the world happened there? Like, flickered. <laughs> home sweet home. There you go. And save. And there you go. Nice. Home sweet home. Yeah, Emily. But yeah, apparently Emily's going to be very useful during boss battles. So that's why I, I didn't see a use for her just yet. And I guess you could take your companions on boss battles. So that's interesting. Didn't know you could actually do that. I thought they always stayed at home. And also, apparently... Whenever we got Emily, whenever you have three NPCs moved into your house, that's why zombies and stuff like stopped spawning, except for like the Blood Moon. So that's interesting to know. But either way, let's just head on over to the... Oh, what in the world? Why are there no torches over here? Uh, I have no idea. Let's let's place them down, because those... Oh, yeah, now, now, now stuff are starting to spawn. I can hear some zombies. But yeah, remember, we do have a good katana now, so we can actually rip these zombies up like so. Slice and dice. Nice. And grab some money out of them, too, so that's great. And, oh, and of course, take some damage, unfortunately, but I kind of want to go mining real quick. See if we can find any more gold, and I guess I have to uh, stop placing torches from, like, here on, huh? So that sucks. That's why it's so dark here. Let's kill this guy, and of course, I don't have to spam click anymore. I can just hold this down, and you know what? You know what? I guess we'll put on the mining helmet right now, because just, just how dark it is. We might as well always see, right? So there you go. Oh, yeah, and you can get a face reveal me, too. And there's a mushroom. Nice. Yeah, look at that. It lights it up pretty well. 
I think it has like the same armor rating as the helmet did, but it just doesn't have a set bonus anymore, so that sucks. But yeah, let's head over here, and then we go down. Oh, jeez. Make sure we actually get on that rope. But if we go down over here, and by the way, I've got the magic mirror in my hotbar in case like an emergency situation happens, but here's the here's the rope that I built. And I placed down a pretty decent amount of torches that way. Uh, Oh, yeah, and then there's a creature. Oh, oh, oh! There's something shooting at me, too. Antlion Charger? Yeah, and then we got hit right there by something. Oh, God! Oh, my God! We're almost dead immediately. Let's get our uh, bow. Shoot that guy. Got him from a distance. Nice. If I want to remember to use the, the bow and the boomerang. But around here is where I started seeing, like, that big death worm guy. And that's why I could should probably, like, start zooming out a little bit. So I can actually see him, but... Try to take a health. Oh, do I? My yeah, I do have a campfire, but I think I'm going to take a health right now. So there you go. Almost full health right now. Unfortunately, around here, the there are like certain blocks I can't break, like these. I don't know what these are, but uh, I can't break them. I tried to explode them with a heckin' bomb, but nothing happened, so that sucks. So uh, try and get this guy with a bow and arrow. There you go. Antline charger. And of course, remember, our gold bow does a little bit more damage now. It actually does like double the damage. Almost tri- Oh, I think I see the death worm in the background, you guys. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, so yeah, see something over there. Or maybe it's just an antline charger. Maybe I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself here. I don't know. But uh, let's put a rope right here on number five, because I'm not going to be using the hammer for a little while, I'd say. There you go. Extend that down as much as possible. And uh, we're, we're full health right now, which is good. And uh, here's this rope. And I think it stops sometime. Yeah, around here-ish. Yeah, there, there it stops right there. Because I ran out of rope off camera, on camera, whatever that was. And then, uh, and then there's that flying creature right there. And I guess we'll continue digging down a little bit. I'm going to stay zoomed out like this just because it is a little bit easy. Oh, oh, oh. And then we have this guy here. There you go. Get him with the heckin' katana. Dead and nice. But, uh, I also got some comments saying, yeah, you can actually use smart cursor mode with the pick to dig down. You just have to, like, have your cursor a little bit further down than I was. So, there you go. This is how it works more properly. And, uh, there we go. Now if I continue... Oh, and I think that's silver. Is that silver? I don't know what that is. There's some... Oh, there's some silver over there, actually, so... Remember, we're... Oh, oh, hold on. There's that guy. I hear him. Yep. Where is he? I've got to zoom down a little bit more now so I can actually see him a little bit better. But I don't know where he's at right now. I'm going to try and get rid of these. Play some dirt. Or some rope. And there, Yeah, there he is right there. Tomb Raider, that's what he's called, I think. I don't know if I'm going to get a copy strike from saying that, but... Oh, there... Tomb Crawler, that's what he's called. Okay, not Tomb Raider. It's obviously something different. <laughs> but, uh... Let's keep digging down. Yeah, th I don't know what's... Are they not like that Death Worm or whatever it was, where they're able to... Dig, like... Oh, oh, seemingly unlimited. It looks like it, like, jumps up in the sky and it's not able to reach me just yet, which is good. And there's a, uh, Antlion Mandible right there we can get, but, uh... And then now we can actually make this rope go almost all the way down. Oh my god, that guy got really close right there. Dangerously close. Turn off smart cursor for right now. We've got a lot of arrows. We might as well start using them, you guys. But if that guy comes near us... Oh, there he is! Oh! Yeah, we did some good damage right there, which is good. I think we might be able to retrieve some of our arrows, which is good. We've got a lot of, like, low-level slimes down there. I could probably just one-shot with my katana, but I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit! And he's dead! Nice! All right. I think that was the only death of, uh, Tomb Crawler that was over here, but yeah. This area, I, I, I lit up off-camera, was looking for heckin' gold and other stuff, and... Well, I didn't, found some, but nothing crazy. Nothing that we haven't already seen, and then over there is where I stopped. There's a little bit of... silver over there, and... I think there was, like, hardened sand that I thought was gold, but I think it's just hardened sand, so... I don't think we need to worry about that, and then down there is just a, a yellow slime. Don't need to worry about him too much, if anything, like, at all. <laughs> so there we go. And then... Yeah, down here is where we had more gold. So let's definitely go this way, especially because this is going to take us out of, like, the deserty biome, and we won't have to worry about the heckin' Tomb Crawler guy. Oh! By the way! Because up there, you guys see that? More crime... crime... Some, crimtain, I think? Something like that? Um, oh, is this work underwater? I want to test it real quick, because I haven't, uh... Oh, I can't fit. Hold on. I, I might want to zoom back in here in just a moment, just because we're not going to worry about those guys anymore. It does! Awesome! And yeah, there's more Crimtain down there, awesome stuff! Okay, well, uh, unfortunately, I'm, like, basically dead here, unfortunately, uh... There's some rope if I can. Can I place some rope here? Uh, oh yeah, I have to build it up. 
then there we go. All right. And then, oh! Oh yeah, let's play some platforms there. <laughs> but uh, now we got some red slimes coming over here, but. And, oh, is this going up? Oh, I don't know if I can do that. There we go, red slime, get out of here! Oh my god. Get out of here, trash, and there's a snail. Oh, no, I killed the snail. Uh, well, let's kill that red slime. And there we go. But yeah, there's Crimtane up there. I read some comments saying, hey, gold picks are able to... Mu oh, I hear... I think this might be the low-level guy. The one that I can, like... Yeah, the tiny one that I could one... Look at how small that guy was compared to the heckin' Tomb Worm or whatever that was. That was Tomb Crawler. I think that's silver right there. Is that silver? Like, right there? Maybe. I think I just broke a rope right there, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it was just one. And then there's iron right there. We got that Crimtane, apparently I can get it with the gold pick, which is good. How far away is that? Yeah, that's decently far. We have some Crimtane that's already down here. I know. Because we, like, I can mind around it and stuff, so. Now we're zoomed into what it normally is. Or, you know, for the series at least. And then, yeah, where was it, actually? Uh, was it over here? Oh yeah, it's all the way, golly. It's all the way up there. Then there's another teal mushroom there. I'm trying to see if there's any more gold. Oh! A black slime! Get him! What? There you go. I don't know why I was using my pick right there for a second. Sheesh. <laughs> but yeah, eh, let's see if we find any more gold down here. I don't know if we hit a, uh, a wall or anything like that. I'm like, there's water there. I'm like, yeah, we, we could go back to the minecart. Yeah, let's go back to the minecart area. Just because I don't know if we really explore that too fully. Just because we went to the end of it and then just, like, went backwards. Apparently, to, like, enter and exit a vehicle like that, you hit R on the keyboard, which is good. Very helpful there, so thank you very much, people, for letting me know about that, because there's no way I would have figured that out on my own. Ske oh, we finally found the skeletons at the, uh, that Kyle was talking about that said, hey, they dropped chains or whatever, right? Did we get some? I, I think that's a skeleton down there. Maybe I was hearing, uh, I, I was saying, oh, man, there are zombies down here, but maybe I was just hearing skeletons that whole time. Ooh. And there's a bat. There you go, and there's a shelly or whatever right there. Oh, whoop. There you go. Kill mushroom. Use that for dyes. Copper right there, and there's the Shelly. He's going to fall. That's good. I don't care. <laughs> but, uh, let's see if I can make this jump. Oh, there you go. Nice. Might want to climb upwards a little bit and see if we can actually get that crim tank. Because apparently that's like a meteor or something, or a meteorite. Because it hit the ground, right? So let's, let's go up here and we'll see if we can actually mine that crim tank. With our brand new gold pick. I'm like, we should. It, it, man, what did it say? It was able to mine meteors? Yeah, it can mine meteorites. So. I'm like, it only makes sense, so let's go up here and let's second mine a meteorite, shall we? Oh, there it is right there. Yep, perfect. And then, of course, there's like a big vein of it we saw. Uh, man, I'm trying to climb onto the... Yeah, okay, let's get a heckin' rope, I suppose. <laughs> and, uh, climb upwards. Uh, oh. There you go. So, do it like that. There you go. But yeah, let, let's go up, and I uh, suppose... Oh, man, that heckin' torch is in the way. Man, let's just right-click and get rid of it. There we go, nice. And over here's the crimtane, so... Man! Okay. Oh, there we go, we got it. <laughs> Smite it with the gold pick, Crimtane Ore. Now, apparently, if you... Oh, man, what was it? If you go to a Crimson Altar or some, or a Crimson Heart or something like that, and you... Oh, man, I'm trying to remember the specifics. I can't remember it too correctly, but... You're able to, like, summon a meteor or something crazy. If you, like, destroy two Crimson Hearts or Crimson Altars or... No, not Crimson Altars, but like Crimson Hearts, or something like that. And I think I said, oh, it's probably going to be underground in the Crimson Biome, so... Yeah, definitely want to go mining over there sometime, especially if we get some better armor. But now we actually have a, uh, a bit of Crimtane right there, which is good, can be placed. And, uh, probably need like a few of those to make an actual ingot out of that, unfortunately, but... Oh, there's a pot over here. Let's see if we can, uh, get anything good. Oh, there's some more, uh, whatever that is. Oh, wood arrows, nice. Not bad. There's some more, whatever this... This orangish... Topaz, yeah. Let's grab some of that. Look at how easy it is to mine now, you guys. That we've got the mining helmet. We don't have to worry about constantly placing down torches. We just, just mine normally. And just grab the loot, get in and get out. And hey, we don't have to worry about like running out of torches or anything like that. I remember earlier on in the series, like we ran out of torches and I had to end a uh, mining adventure. Like somewhat early because we ran out of heckin' torches. So now we're never going around torches because we're not even using torches. But now we've got a mine card over here. I don't want to see if... Or a uh, mine track or whatever. Oh, how do I do? How do I do this last time? Oh yeah, there you go. And then, yeah, hit R and then you get out of it. So that's good. And let's see what's down here. I think it just goes into water and then it ends, right? Got some clay. Oh, clay pots there. There's a slime. Oh, it continues in the water. What? No way. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's all this? 
Whoa! <gasps> Another crimson heart! You got two of them? Or not, uh, what is it called again? Like a heart. Whatever, it's, you guys know what I mean. I, I forget the specific name of it. But now, we found something. Oh, there's the thing, the granite area. We found like a granite area over here. That's the thing I saw off camera that I killed that gave me the granite rock that I mentioned. But now, there we go, that's that's the button I was and There's another one over here. Thankfully, we can kill these things like almost in one hit. Now, two hits and they're dead. And they drop granite block, which we could use. I think it's whatever this block is, right? Can I mine it with my gold? I can. Yeah, we're getting granite block right there, but we can break this heart thing. Life crystal, that's what it's called. That's the technical name for it. I did not know this continued over here, you guys. Awesome. What is that thing? Oh, it must be like in the background or something like that. I'm hearing a creature. Oh, God. Granite golem. Glad that we kind of rode past him, you guys. Holy heck. What's over here? I guess just silver. Lesser healing potion. Nice. Now, the thing about this, though, is that, uh, you know what? I'm going to place some torches over here just because I like the mining helmet's nice. But I, I kind of want to light the area up in general, too. Is that silver? What is that? I don't know what- oh, it was silver, nice, but we got a lot of stuff right there from the, uh... Oh, worm, nice. But at least I could actually place, uh, torches in the background, which is good. Oh, is that- what is that? Oh, and it's just like a random piece of granite right there or something like that, right? Yeah, I think so. Nothing too crazy right there, but... Uh... Let's zoom out a little bit. Because I just ran past a bunch of stuff. Yeah, there, there's Crimtain to the left. Another life cr- oh, by the way, might as well eat that thing or consume it or whatever. Oh, there it is right there, life crystal. Boom, 160 health, awesome. And then we're going to get 180 here in just a sec, so there you go. Let's place torches here, too, with the, uh, the... This is a great... Oh, oh, another, uh, granite elemental, I think it was called. Yeah, where is this thing even end? I'm not complaining at all because we're seeing a lot of loot over here, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Is that good? No, that's sand. Where are we at on the... Oh, hold on, hold on, granite elemental. I, I was about to say, I want to see where we're at on the big map. Let's see if we're underneath the crimson biome to see if we might be able to- Yeah, we're, we're nowhere near. There it is over there, that's where we are. Yeah, we're nowhere near finding like a crimson all- or uh, well, we've seen crimson all through, but crimson like crystals or whatever that was like under- Oh, we found the end of it! There's a lot of iron over here, which is good, but there's some uh, other stuff back there. There's another crimson guy, but place a torch over here just to keep it nice and lit up. There's a blue slime. I don't think he, yeah, he can't reach over here. You know, fortunately, I almost said unfortunately, but there's a heckin' uh, guy right there, so there you go. And kill him, and getting some heckin' silver and copper over here from that, so that's good. Pots over here. I did get a comment saying, hey, don't don't worry too much about the, the pots. Because, uh, let's get the boomerang and get rid of these, uh, cobwebs. There you go. So not to worry too much about the pots, but, uh, I'm like, in the game. Any amount of loot's always going to be good for us, right? A little bit of iron over there, but, yeah. I think we go oh, wait, hold on, is that silver? I think it is. That's a big vein of silver! Awesome! But remember, we're looking for mainly gold, but... Hey, if we get a good amount of silver and we're able to... Was it 75? I think we have 30 at home. I think. So we need to get about 45 more... And was it? Four ores for one ingot or something like that? So we need a lot of uh, heckin' silver. To actually get a full set of silver armor and get the, the full bonus or whatever. And I guess, if anything, we don't need... Oh, what was that? Dark trap. Ooh, I guess I found a trap. Oh, I almost drowned right there, you guys. <laughs> I guess I found a trap and I didn't fall for the trap because I just heckin' destroyed it there from the- By the way, that big boulder that I mined? Apparently that was a trap too, that's why we found a, a pressure plate. The man, there's so many, like, traps that I'm coming across that thankfully I'm not, like, activating, which is pretty cool. Like the heckin' detonator thing and these, like, dark traps apparently, and there's more of that uh, topaz or whatever that was. And there's some more stuff over there, but I don't think we need to worry about too much about that, so... Let's just head on out of here now, right? So, uh, if we can, now if we... Oh, wait. I don't think there's a background here, right? Yeah, there is none, so that sucks. Um, Maybe I'll get some wood platforms real quick. And just place them like this. And... Yep, there you go. Then I can kind of walk upwards above this. And actually make my way back to where we were. With the minecart track, so... Is that going to stop the water? No, it's not. Okay, whatever. I know, let's just head back up here. What was this stuff, though, real quick? That was nothing. It didn't give me anything. Okay, what? Oh, is that another dart trap? Yeah, it was. Why did... I don't know why it didn't, like, activate it. Maybe it needs, like, a pressure plate or something like that to activate it. Either way. Yeah, look at how much this lights up up here. The, uh, Oh, man, that's a lot of, uh... Cobwebs there. Look at all that. There you go. Break all that. And there's some clay pots down there, too, we can break. Boom, rope. Boom, torches. Don't need that garbage anymore. Another clay pot over here. Any, uh... Bad over there to 
under us. It's more copper right there, and I think that's for that. I forget, silt rock or something like that? Yellow slime right there, I don't care about that garbage. Uh, I kind of want to get back up to the minecart now, just because it's going to be an easy way to get in and out, right? So, oh, yep, there you go. Then, oh, yep, there you go. That spawned in the minecart. Even though I don't, I still don't understand why I'm able to make a minecart, but yet I'm also able to, like, spawn in a minecart, like, whenever. Water walking potion. Ooh. That can be very helpful. Another thing of what looks like silver ore, so if I want to grab that. Uh, do I still have my piggy bank? I do. Awesome. Let's grab that. Yep, two silver ore right there. Nice. If there's anything else down there. Another uh, Grand Elemental we want to definitely kill. There you go. I need to get used to uh, not spam clicking, because remember, uh, I guess the, kata the the zombie arm, I guess, was unable to do it, but the, the katana were able to just hold it down, no problemo, and that, uh, oh, there you go. Just another clay pot over here. And then, of course, there's that life crit. Oh, and there's, uh, there's the crawdad that killed us at one time. There's the granite golem and another uh, granite elemental or whatever that was. There's that granite golem down there. I don't know if we're able to, uh, there we go, life crystal. I might as well get up to 180 health. Boom. 180 health now. I don't know what... Someone said at 200 health something happens. I don't know what it is that they said, but there's a granite golem with 110 health. The uh, crawdad, I want to see if I can actually... Oh, here we go. Snipe him down with the... Uh, there we go. Getting him with the bow. The gold bow, that is, that does, like, 10 damage, supposedly. Oh, I killed the bat right there unintentionally, but there you go, got the crawdad. Oh, man. And there's the golem, getting him with the arrows. Oh, what's happening? What's he doing? Charging up or something like that, blocking? I don't know, I'm going to get the katana. There you go, whoa! Yeah, I don't know what he was doing right there, but there you go, he's dead! Granite golem, dead easily! Snail down there! Is that... silver? That's just a rock, okay. Man, we're- oh, there's a bat. Kill it. I don't know why I'm- Oh no, I broke the- Oh, that's- I was wondering, like, why am I able to tink tink on this minecart track? But that's why, because we're able to actually break it. And there's another Grand Elemental. I wonder if these guys are actually spawning from anything, or if it's just because it's the- The biome over here. Maybe it's just the biome. Because I don't know if there's, like, a heck of a spawner I need to watch out for, but... Yeah, I definitely want to place some torches over here, too. Just to, you know, at least figure out, you know, where I've been. And, uh, that way I don't waste my time going to places I've already been, right? But, uh... There's a fish over there. I don't think we need to go over there, but... Over here's snail and it looks like another clay pot, so I guess we'll go grab that stuff real quick. And of course, there's a lot of granite over here, which we could use for building. And a lot of, well, a ton of granite. Like, the whole heckin' place is made out of granite. Gravitation potion! What? Snail, caught it! Nice! Anything? Oh, I hear another golem somewhere. I don't know where, though. Let's get some rope going. There you go. Try and climb out of here, if I can. Well, there you go, nice, awesome. I can hear the golem, but yeah, he didn't seem too tough, honestly. So we went from, what, 140 health to 180 right there, which is amazing, you guys. Awesome stuff. But over here, we got heckin' fish fellows I might want to watch out for. Yeah, piranhas. 30 health, though, not really too much. Uh, there you go, spawn the minecart. I get attacked from the minecart, too, but it's cool. There you go, kill the piranha. Whoa, piranhas are actually spawning, but they're also dropping health, which is cool, so there you go. Oh yeah, is there anything underwater that I missed out on? I'm going to look a little bit more. Iron there. Crimtain right there. A lot of Crimtain. Actually, kind of close to where we were. So, break that. Whoa, what is that? Whoa. A trap. I hit the trap. I hit the boulder trap that did a lot of damage right there. Whoa. Placing down the campfire for extra health regen. There you go. And there's the elemental. Go to kill the crit. Nice. Awesome. So, apparently... Oh, and there's more of that stuff. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is this actually where we were or what? Amethyst? How did I not see this amethyst? Was this always here? I guess it was. I'm like, it's literally glowing. It's sparkling and everything. There's more of that topaz or whatever down there, too. How did I not see this? Man, let's grab some amethyst. Very beautiful, purpley type gems. And of course, apparently... Man, I, I'm forgetting what it was. But someone said, if you get like 15 of one gem, you're able to do something with it. I forgot what it was, the specifics of it, but... We're, we're starting to get a lot of those gems now, you guys, which is great. Look, look at how much we're regen right now because of the campfire, too, so that's awesome. Almost a, we're past what we were previously with our previous health maximum. But, uh, 106, almost up to full at 180 now, so that's amazing. But somewhere we go. Oh, yeah, the Crim is over there, so. I think this campfire has some good range, so. Mm, let me get the platforms, but those. Uh, yeah, we're not going to use the torches too often, so I guess I'll put those up over there. So, kind of thinking about. Because I don't know if we're able to place, uh,. Platforms while underwater, but I mean, from like right here to the right, we can start placing platforms. Oh, yep, here we go. Oh, yeah, I guess I can place them from the minecart track. 
Oh yeah, and then there's some coins right there too, so. Yep, there you go, and then I'm somehow not getting oxygen from this, but uh, oh god! Whoa, what is that? Oh no, that's the uh, the, the water right there. I'm wondering, is that the platform where someone else already goes down? I guess not, but yeah, there's Crimtain like right here we can mine. Three, it looks like what looks like three Crimtain ore or something like that, and apparently these are meteorites. So meteors that struck the Earth, or whatever planet this is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they've struck the Earth and have kind of just kind of got buried under a billion years of rock or something crazy. So there you go, three Crimtain ore right there, still right there, I believe, if I remember correctly. And over there to the right is the, yeah, the granite biome or whatever that was over there. Very interesting stuff, you guys. I'm liking all this adventuring we're doing. I didn't even, what in the world is that? What, what, what? I just opened up like a portal to, to like Goldville or something and it just gave me like 10 gold? Whoa! Going straight to the piggy bank. Oh yeah, I need to place on a, oh, can I place on a campfire randomly? <laughs> I don't know if I can, but yeah, we have the workbench. And the piggy bank. And open it up. Let's put the... I don't need to put the amethyst in there, but... Our inventory is getting kind of full, but, uh... Let's see. Snails and hammer and blah, blah, blah. Let's put up the gold. Definitely want to put up the gold. And... There you go, there you go, there you go. And then apparently quick stack? Turns all the... Copper into silver and silver into gold or something like that, right? So... Oh! And it takes, I guess, stuff that's in my... Oh, what? Oh, God, there's an elemental right there. I think that takes stuff that's in my inventory that can stack up with stuff in the piggy bank already. I think that's what that does, the quick stack. So that's cool. If I want to use that more often, especially because it's, it's quick, <laughs> you know, so that's good. But we have copper ore there. We have some copper coins. I guess I'll put those up over there just because I got that from killing the elemental right there, right? But if we don't want to leave my piggy bank behind, even though it doesn't really matter too much, uh, I think it, well, it wasn't too expensive, right, to get it. I don't think so. I don't remember how much it was for a piggy bank. I'm like, we have two of them, so it shouldn't have been too expensive, right?